show you how to set up um, a worksheet reference file um, and make sure that all the classes within that reference file are usable in your viewports when you're making up your uh, final drawings. Now this is the sheet that you normally get when you first start uh, Vectorworks. Um, it's an American system so the first thing I need to do is to go in and change going up to page setter, uh, go into printer support, select my printer, it's a Hewlett Packard 1280, um, I want A3 and I want it in landscape not portrait. Let's click on OK. Horizontal and vertical are still one to one and there's the correct page sizes and I want to show the page boundaries, that's fine. So click on that and there's my new page setup. Now what I need to do is to change the scale because the drawing I'm bringing in is quite big, it's a massive site. So what I need to do is to change the scale of that um, to make it easily readable. And I'm going to change the scale up to 1 to 500 um, because um, that will uh, show me all the sites in a scale that's suitable for the page size that I now uh, want to use. And I'm going to click on that and that's OK. And I'm going to click OK on that. Now my page is all set up and it's 1 to 500. First thing to do is to import the, um, the viewport that I want, the, the, uh, the reference viewport. So it's create a viewport. I'm going to create it on a new layer, a new design layer. I'm going to call that layer uh, Worksheet Reference and just say OK. Now what I'm going to do then is select the source. It's an external document and I click on that. That's the file that I want. Um, it's a, a massive site plan of an area. And what I can do then is just check that out. Absolute path is absolutely fine. I don't have a problem with that. And as you can see, the scale is bringing it in is 1 to 500 and it's top plan. Always check that. And we're happy to go on that. And if I look down, there's the site. And there is the, the actual size of my paper. As you can see, it's far too big for the paper that I've got. But I only want to show a portion of it. And if I do want to show the rest of it on an A3, A3 paper, then I'll put it down to about 1 to 1,000 or 1 to 1,250. So let's do the pointer tool and just make sure that that is clicked on. And if you can look, there's all the classes that are for that drawing. And let's just do cancel. And there's the layers and just a few layers on that. I'd like some more on that, but that's another story. So let's just create a viewport of this ready for printing of this particular area here. And I've got my um, call out tool. I pressed the wrong one. Start again. There's my tool. There's the rectangle tool that I want. And there is the area that I'm looking at for a viewport. And let's do view create viewport and yes I want all the information on and let's put it up to um, I want to put it up to a, a new sheet layer and I'll call it ST oh, that's fine that's just for reference um, for this particular job so we can find it and I'm going to put it onto there and it's 1 to 500 so that's fine for the, no let's make that 1 to 1 to 500 is fine okay let's go with that and press OK there is my sheet of paper there is the area that I want to look at and as you can see it fits nicely onto my sheet. Let's look at the classes. Oh, where are they gone? There's none there. Um, the same with the layers. I've got nothing really in there that allows me to um, alter this viewport to make it suitable for what I want. So let's cancel that because I need to do some setting up and let's remove that and go back to the uh, worksheet reference and just look at the drawing. I know all the information's there. What I need to do is to go up to uh, my tools, into my organization, and click on reference. And there's the file that I've referenced in. I need to go to settings and put layer import. In other words, I want to use all the references on that file in anything else. If you do that, press accept that, file's still there, press OK, and now we're good to go, because there's the reference file, 
And if I go down to layers, there's all the stuff still. And if I go down to class, there's all the classes for that particular drawing. I'm happy now. Now, let's go up to here and do uh, the same thing again. Let's make a little viewport of that area. Uh, view, create viewport, accept that. I'm going to put onto SD Sheet 1 again, just to, um, and 1 into 500 is still fine. And with a bit of luck, there's my drawing, all nicely done. I put it onto the piece of paper and it actually fits for the area that I want to show. Now if I use classes, all my classes are all there to be used. And so are the layers, all there to be used. And if I click on some of these, some of them are greyed out, and I want botanical on as well. And let's just see now that alters the whole thing. And there you go. There's my drawing all set up with the correct um, tools, uh, buttons put on. And I can use that as a uh, viewport on paper space to send out to the client. Hope you enjoyed that. See you soon.